Hello and welcome to part two of GAC making an adventure game. Um, in the last part we just got a basic room going um, with a key and we need to be able to do something with that key. So um, what we need to do is in room descriptions, room one, you're in a room. Let's just expand on that. descriptions. I can't really think of anything complicated so that'll do for now. Um, yes, connections will leave, room will leave. Because we put a door in the graphics so let's put it there. Got a door at the end. A door faces you to the north so we can pick up the key, we can get the key. But obviously we can't open the door. Because we've done nothing for it, pardon. What's that? Oh. So, we want to be able to try and open the door. So if we put in, in low priority, in fact now, local conditions now. Room number one. Line number one. Um, now this is going to take a bit of re remembering how to do this sort of thing. Mm. Let's see. Well, if. Start your brackets off for the uh, conditional part. Um, mm, verb open. What's open? What is open? I need the appendix. Um, open is. Is there an open? Don't think there is an open. I'm going to have to put that in. Right, okay, great. Um, I think 16 is the highest one, so I'm going to guess 17, verb 17, and noun, oops, door, which is going to be, oh, now, now we've got to think, because the door is not something that can be picked up, so it's not going to be in the first 10, and then we're thinking, is 10 going to be enough? Probably for this adventure, uh, I'm not going to do anything massive, but I'm going to say noun 30. That gives a bit of space, a bit of space for objects. So, oops. No! No! I pressed the wrong button. Right. Close bracket. Right, so if you do that, um, then put message, we'll call it 30, just to match it, and okay, now we're going to probably have to add that, but that will do for now, because we've got to add in verb 17 and noun 30, so verb 17, open. Yep, that looks like it's not over it anything. Hopefully, don't think so. And noun 30 door. Message 30. And. Ooh. The key. Right, let's enter it, let's see what we can do. Right, um, now if I just open door, it's just going to say the key's not for the door. But obviously I haven't picked up the key and I've not specified I want the key, so that's not really what we want. It's not really what we want. So, back to local conditions, room one. 
line one. So let's say I'm checking if you're actually typing in open door. It's added all extra brackets in, you'll notice, but right now we're going to add inside there um, and car, well, R for carry, um, one, which is the key. That now, let me go in should stop that doing anything. Open the door. You can't. Get key. Open the door. Oops. The key is not for the door. Wahey! We've got a bit of a puzzle going on. Got the key, thinking, yeah, open the door. But it's not for the door. So what's it for? We don't know. There's nothing else in the room. That's the problem now, I'm just sort of, I haven't come up with any plan whatsoever uh, as the actual adventure, uh, I'm just making it up as I go along. So, what can we have? Well, we can have some sort of desk or chest or something, or a little box, or something hidden in something before you can find it. Hmm, hmm, what to have? I think we'll have a desk. So, in the room conditions, I think we're going to go for by room description. Room number one. Let's get to the end of this. Melport uh, is a desk. Oh. a desk um, why not we just put a few things a chair in fact no 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 it's terrible Added a few things in. Go. So now we've got more of a scene set. We've got no graphics for it. Hmm. <laughs> yes. I suppose I could add a desk in easy enough. Um. But if I do it, I might well just speed it up because it takes ages and ages. And not, the last tutorial had too much graphics in. I think. Um. So yeah, so now we've got a desk and a chair next to it. Um, so the key could be for the desk. Obviously there could be something hiding about it and there's a bed next to you so there could be something under the bed. You might have to move the bed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what puzzles we're going to put in exactly. So, you know, I mean obviously anyone have any ideas, um, leave a comment. Uh, and I'll I'll try and implement something like that in, as long as it's not too complicated. But we want to make the room have a few puzzles in it before we can leave it. Uh, and that's basically the adventure, I suppose, unless of course you want me to continue and do another room. But, you know, I suppose it's, I'll just think I'll just show off basic standard techniques and then you can go for yourself after that. It's it's pretty simple to use. It's one of the joys of GAC. So, for now, I'm just going to do it so you can examine the desk. So again, do we want it just so you can make it an object that you can automatically do or do you want to make it a specific condition? So I'd say it's going to be a specific one for this room, the desk's not going anywhere, 
Um, so conditions local, room number one, line number two, if verb sixteen and noun desk is going to be oh it's terrible thirty one thirty one now normally when you're doing GAC it's advisable to design your adventure in, in advance on paper you know, so you know all your verbs and nouns so you don't have this problem where you're thinking oh crap so I haven't actually got that noun yet which number am I going to have to use because um, it, it can get a bit confusing um, and it's nice to have obviously a, a nice bit of paper you can refer to your design, you can run through it once, I mean Crabs, I used to be able to knock an adventure together in no time when I had the plan. Once you've got the plan there, you just go, it's just data entry, data entry, draw your graphics, Bob's your uncle, put some of the code in. Coding's pretty easy in the main, as you can see, and you was away. Anyway, I'm digressing. Um, so, this is basically checking if you're examining the desk um, message. 31 and so let's put message 31 in um, I'm not going to put anything for now um, I've got to think of what puzzles to do so for now it'll just be a tidy desk Decent descriptions, and it's not working. Um, we go. So we go. Um, now I need a noun. Thirty-one desk. Oh, I think that's it. I should be able to examine the desk. Let's just do it quick. Oops, this isn't going to work. A tidy desk. There's a drawer on one side. Papers are littered on top. There we go. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Um, now, what to do? What to do with the next bit? I suppose I could do the graphics for the desk. Which I think I will. And then that'll be enough for this part, I think. And then with some actual puzzles, or I'll get some ideas for puzzles in the comments. Then I'll shall come back with part three, and we'll start doing a bit more, slightly more advanced stuff um, than what we've been doing so far. But you know, adventure games that weren't much more than examine this and do this, and it's just how you work out the puzzles and make it not incredibly obvious straight away what to do. You know, like that key. You think, oh yeah, I can try the door. You, you pretty much guarantee it's not going to open that door. Um, but you know, some games it will open the door. It's just one of those things. Adventure games, wicked. Um, yeah, so graphics. Picture one. And I'm probably going to speed this up. Because it takes a while to do anything. So I probably won't talk much from now on.
Right, that's quite enough of that. Um, so, yeah, we've got it looking a bit better. Got a description, decent description with some graphics that match, sort of, if you can call that a chair and a desk. Um, but the graphics on the Spectrum are rather difficult to uh, get looking brilliant. You can do it with a bit of planning there, a bit of planning. Um, I've just sort of knocked something, cobbled something together. It's difficult with the controls as well. Um, but yeah, it's looking nice. It's starting to come together, looking more like an adventure game. Fair enough, the graphics could do with a little bit of sprucing up maybe, but uh, you know, that isn't the main reason for this tutorial. The main reason is the actual nitty gritty of the stuff that you actually have to do, like getting the key. Open the door. The key's not for the door. Oh, oh no. It's our desk. So yeah, so until I can think of the actual puzzles now, that will do. Uh, D for diagnostics, still just the two markers, because I've not used any of those yet. I'll probably need to use them at some point. But uh, I can't think of any reason at the moment that I will need them. But we shall see. We shall see. In the next episode, probably. So, until next time, I'll catch you later.